Charlotte Tilbury just robbed me. She took my money, but she left behind a lipstick collection that I am so excited for. It's been such a long time, years, since Charlotte Tilbury has launched a dedicated lip collection. So if you missed it, Charlotte Tilbury launched her Hollywood Beauty Icon lip collection, which includes five lip cheats, which is her lip liner, and 10 different lipsticks. Literally, the last collection, the Hot Lips 2 collection, was the last big lip collection that she did. And my mom and I split it. Like, I bought half and my mom bought the other half and I did a whole video on it. I'm a solo girl now. Mommy lives too far away. So I ended up picking up all of the lip cheats today to demo for you guys. And then I didn't pick up all of the lipsticks, but I did pick up 7 out of 10 and we'll talk about it. So the new Hollywood Beauty Icons is available on the Charlotte Tilbury website. If it's your first time ordering on an email, if you use this code, it will save you 15% since her lip products are not cheap. Maybe consider placing an order with a different email to save you a little bit of money if you're planning on picking up multiple shades. Or you can pick them up at Sephora. I saw they just landed today on the website. So I'm going to start off with the lip cheats that I picked up and I have all five for you guys I'm gonna swatch. Now what what makes Charlotte Tilbury lip cheats very special is they have a smooth creamy glide to them but then they set down and they last a long time. Normally if a lip liner has a lot of drag it will last a longer time but it has a lot of drag but everybody loves a good creamy application but with a lot of lip liners with that creamy application they don't last as long. Charlotte Tilbury really is the best of both worlds because you get that creamy glide but then it sets and lasts a long time top two favorite lip liner formula right here. Tied with Pat McGrath, in case you're wondering. Okay, so first one we're gonna test is Icon Baby, which is the lightest one. Icon Baby is a warm nude rose. And for reference, of course, here it is compared to Pillow Talk, it's much more nude. So we must swatch Iconic Nude above it. I would say it's closer to a lighter, more peachy version of Iconic Nude. This is very, very close to my natural lip color. Here's Icon Baby on me. Huh? This is a great everyday lip liner because it's pretty close to the natural color. The next shade is 90s Pink. They describe it as a 90s inspired warm rosy pink. Definitely looks a lot pinker. For reference, here is Love Trap, which has a little bit more brownish red in there. And again, here's Pillow Talk. It's actually quite close to Pillow Talk. 90s pink has a little bit more of a brighter pink to it though. You can see this is instantly brighter than the first one. And this is what 90s pink would look on me. I wouldn't normally fill in my lips, but I want you to see the true color. That one's really nice. It almost has a little bit of magenta brightness in there in person. I like it. Next shade is Mark of a Kiss. <laughs> she says this is a soft, muted, wearable red lip liner. Dare I say you see a little bit of orange in there? It's definitely not like a vibrant fire truck red. It definitely has like a little bit of a muddy down tone to make it more wearable. But of course it's still a red. Ooh, this is really pretty. This is like... I'm committing to a red for the day, but nothing crazy because it's not super duper vibrant. This is a good background to honestly a vibrant red lipstick because it'll tone down the edges. Red Carpet Red is a blue toned red lip liner. And you can see it almost looks pink, right? Compared to the last red that we just swatched. Definitely much more bright. It's gonna make your teeth look a little whiter. I feel like it's pretty vibrant on my skin. It almost looks like there's some pink in there. Be careful with the overlining like I did because it's giving clown. <laughs> but I want you guys to see the real color. On myself, I would say I prefer Mark of the Kiss because it's more toned down than this one. But this one's still very, very pretty for the more vibrant lip person. If you're very fair, I think this one's going to be really beautiful on you. The last one that we have is the queen and this is the one where you guys were like, I need to see this on you. She describes it as a warm nude rose. It's not giving warm nude rose to me. <laughs> it's giving like magenta, but let's see it. I was so excited about this color. 
It's much more wearable than I thought it was going to be. That's interesting. I love it. I can't wait to see what lipstick best pairs with this. I'm not normally into like garish pinks on myself. But Charlotte Tilbury did something here. I love this one. I don't have anything like this in my collection. Super unique and maybe a fun way to bridge into pinks. So that's the last lip liner. Very unique. Let's make our way into the lipsticks. She launched 10 different lipstick shades. Now five were in her kissing formula and then five were in her matte formula. We're gonna start off with the kissing formula. I bought all five because listen to me and listen to me very closely. This is my all time favorite lipstick ever. The Charlotte Tilbury kissing lipsticks are my all time favorite. So I had to get all five and they all had these beautiful pink colors so i had to pick them up her lipsticks are 35 dollars each which is really really expensive but for me because of how much i love the formula they are worth it so let's swatch them the first color that we're going to do is icon baby which they have in the lip liner color now all of the kissing formula is going to come in this beautiful rose gold packaging compared to her normal gold packaging i love this little element that she added Icon Baby is a warm nude rose lipstick. Now her kissing formula is her hydrating formula. So that's why I like it. There's a little bit of a sheen there. Am I seeing glitter in this? What? Hold on. Look. It looks like there's like glitter in this. And it has a grainy, a grainy feel to it. I don't know if you can see. It's like grainy. Can literally see at the top. That's not good. Her kissing formula is not normally like this. I don't know if maybe it's just at the top. I am very confused by this. Let me quickly show you the color itself next to Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk is a little bit more peachy. Obviously, it's a different finish. But I've never seen her kissing formula almost grainy. I'm a little concerned about this. We have to see the other colors if they also have this consistency. So this is with no lip liner. Guys, it's like grains of sand. I just got some in my teeth and I could bite down on it. The color itself is pretty, but it doesn't have that hydrating feel to it. It's like there's glitter particles sucking away the moisture. It feels grainy. I'm going to put on a little bit of Icon Baby lip liner, which is pretty much the same. Looks wise, this is a gorgeous everyday pink lip. I actually love this. Here's the swatch of Icon Baby lipstick and Icon Baby lip liner. The lip liner almost looks peachy compared to the lipstick. I'm concerned because this almost, you can see, it's like a flat finish with almost metallic glitters in there. Okay, let's see the other. Hopefully, maybe that was like faulty. I don't know. You see, it's leaving glitter particles on my lips. Oh, this is not good. Not a good sign because that's not, as you can see, I'm upset. <laughs> that's not the kissing formula. Candy Chic is next. Same packaging. Hopefully this one is looking better. This one really caught my eye. It's such a beautiful pink. They call it like a candy pink. Okay, this is what I wanted. This is the kissing formula. You can see why I was scared there for a second. I don't know what happened with that first one. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Hopefully that's a one-off thing. I've never seen that before from Charlotte. Okay, anyways. This is what I'm talking about. Oh my god, this is such a fun pink color. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection pink wise. It has almost a little bit of purple in there. Let's try this with 90s pink lip liner. Ooh, this is a good combo. If you're looking for a fun pink lip that's still wearable, here's a combo for you. Candy Chic Lipstick. 90s pink lip cheat. That's a good combo. I love this one. And not a weird grainy formula. The next shade is red carpet pink. A sumptuous pastel pink. Looks really pretty and nude. Okay, 
also nice and smooth. This one almost looks like it has some purple in there. Ooh, it's very, very light. Not something I would consider flattering on myself. Why does my nose always run when I'm doing makeup videos? I don't get it. <laughs> it definitely is a pastel pink. I'm thinking maybe 90s baby would also be a good option for this. Yeah. It kind of neutralizes it a little bit. I would say definitely put the lip liner down first, especially for this lipstick because it's pastel-y. It can wash you out and make your lips look dry. So if you make the lip liner like 90s pink right here, if you make that a bigger base and then pop red carpet pink in the center, it's going to be a really pretty look. Actually, let me show that for you. That's what we're here for, right? So, 90s pink lip liner, and then pop red carpet pink in the center. How pretty is that pink? Love that. Rose to Fame is a soft mauve rose. Definitely has some depth to it. That's a really pretty color. Very unique, I like this one. I'm using a little bit of Icon Baby just to clean up the edges. This is lighter than the lipstick, but it gives a pretty blurred out look. Rose to Fame is really gorgeous. It definitely has that mauve tone to it, but it also adds some depth to my skin tone. Ooh, I like this one too! Which brings us to the last lipstick in the Kissing Formula, 90s Pink. This is that 90s inspired warm rose pink. I would say it's pretty close to Rose to Fame. You probably wouldn't need both. Let's see how it looks. It has a little bit of a pinkier tone to it, whereas Rose to Fame, I felt like, looked more truly mauve and purpley, but you definitely don't need both of those. They're very similar. Very pretty similar effect, but this one does have the matching 90s Baby lip liner, which they are pretty much an identical match here. For me, I think that 90s Pink is a little bit more wearable to me. I like this one too. Color-wise, all of these turned out how I was hoping they would, like more unique pinks. I feel like I don't have a lot of these shades in my collection. And as always, I just love the kissing formula. So I don't know if I got a weird dud with Icon Baby. Let me know if yours was gritty as well. But let's move on over to the Matte Revolution colors. So Charlotte Tilbury's Matte Revolution formula is still really nice. It has an easy glide and it's not overly drying. I just prefer the Kissing formula, but she launched all five of these new Matte Revolution lipsticks in red shades. And I personally just don't need that many reds. I don't wear reds that often, but I picked up two of the five. Hollywood Vixen and Cinematic Red were the two that I picked up. And these are also so beautiful because they come in the red color packaging. Here's what it looks like right next to the pink. So pretty, I love just the simple addition of changing the color. So pretty. Okay, let's do Hollywood Vixen first, which she describes as a nuanced bright red lipstick. Really smooth, almost blurring feel to them. Okay, very smooth, very thin, but lots of pigment. Putting on reds is hard. <laughs> Gonna use the help of the new red carpet red lip liner because this one is also like a brightish. Yeah, this is pretty close to red carpet red. Yeah, this is a good combo Hollywood Vixen and red carpet red. Blue base going to make the teeth look more white. Honestly, this is a very pretty red. I think I might wear red today since I have the more natural makeup. I like that one a lot. That one's pretty. So I wanted to get one bright red and then one deeper red. That's the vibe I was going for when choosing between the five. So the next one that we have is Cinematic Red. Cinematic Red is a bright cinematic cherry red color. You can see it definitely has a richer color to it. Okay, let's try this one. I wish she would have dropped like a more berry red, like a deep berry red in this drop. Oof. I mean, this is pretty though, and this is without lip liner. I'm gonna go in with Mark of a Kiss. See how that looks with this. Ooh, I love a little bit of a deeper red like this. This one is so good. <laughs> Ooh, I really, really like this one. It might be intimidating because it's the deepest color in the lineup, but on my skin tone, I find it to be very, very flattering. 
So just within my collection, I have to say with Charlotte Tilbury, I don't have a reddish blue like Hollywood Vixen. So I don't have anything to compare to this one. So I feel like Icon Baby, Candy Chic, and Red Carpet Pink are all a similar level of pinks. So I wanted to compare it to some other pinks. So of course we have Pillow Talk here compared to those two or three, excuse me. This is a popular one that I wanted to compare, In Love with Olivia. This one has a lot more peach to it compared to the other three. Blushing Dream I thought would be close and it absolutely is. I think it's similar to Candy Chic. Those two are quite close. So yeah, I think Blushing Dream and Candy Chic can go hand in hand there. And here's Rose to Fame and 90s Pink. I wanted to compare it to Amazing Amal from the Hot Lips collection. Well, this one has a lot, a little bit more brightness to it. As you can see, it's not quite as mauve as the other two. So that was everything swatched and that I picked up from the new Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Icons lip collection. So let's nail down my favorites. In terms of the lip liners, I already know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of 90s pink because it's going to add some color to my face while still remaining pink. But I think I can get some really pretty nude pink looks with Icon Baby. So these two will definitely be my most used. If you're looking for something unique, the Queen is very unique. I don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of this one, but really unique. And then in terms of the lipsticks, I don't know what happened with Icon Baby. That's the gritty one. So I wouldn't recommend this one. Let me know if yours was like this. But my favorite colors, I think 90s pink, is my favorite. It's just a pretty mauve lipstick. I enjoyed that one on myself a lot. And then Candy Chic is going to come into second for me because it's a pretty pink, but I still think it has a little bit of uniqueness there. And then in terms of the red, if I could do it all over again, I think Cinematic Red is my favorite of the two because it's a little bit deeper than what I'm wearing today. So I hope this helped you out. If you were interested in picking up any of these lipsticks from the new Charlotte Tilbury collection, let me know if you have any questions down below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.